Hello. I just got my order in today from Gurney's because this year I plan on having a really nice garden, which ends up being a lot of work. So if you want to have lots of good food from your garden, start with some quality seeds. When I was growing up, we used to buy Gurney's all the time. And man, we used to have the best gardens. My dad was such a great gardener. So anyway, I've just been buying my seeds that, you know, the burpee seeds that I could get at Walmart and Home Depot were really good seeds because you can get those once in a while, but a lot of times they're the other ones. And the packages, you spend, you know, two, three dollars for a package. And if you ever look at gurneys and say, man, those are expensive. Well, this is why. This is the package from Gurney's. See the size of these? They're giant. So they got that much seed in them. I mean, yes, I got some smaller ones also. But they still got, I mean, it's packed clear up to there with seed. And this one is, it's a mixture of radishes. Even this carrot one is, let's see, up to about there. That's a lot of carrot seed because carrot seeds are tiny. When you buy the packets in the store, they don't hold as much. These smaller packages, they weren't really that much more expensive than buying them in the store, and you're getting a lot more seed. And what's nice at the, these gurneys, it actually says how many seeds is in there. This radish mix has 500 seeds. That's a lot of radishes. This carrot, this um, Yaya hybrid, has 200 seeds. Now, my garden peas, Northfield, 225 seeds. When you buy the little packets in the store that are the size of these little tiny gurney seeds, you're only getting 30 seeds in them. And you're spending three bucks when you can go to gurneys and spend six, seven dollars and get five, six times as many seeds. And you get a much better quality choice. They actually have like 20 different kinds of corn, sweet corn seed. So we, and they have a big old description on each one, which really helps out quite a bit. So you can, you have more than just the one or two or three varieties you got to choose at the store. Usually I buy my seeds at Walmart and they actually do a really good job of having a good supply of different kinds of seeds and I always get good gardens off of the seeds from Walmart but this year I decided to order from Gurney's and instead of having to buy two or three or four packs of you know anything like the peas or anything I just had to buy one and here's another pea and it's filled up to there and that one's got 225 seeds. Here is hybrid northern extra sweet sweet corn. And when you buy your sweet corns, it tells you like on um, a lot of times in the store it doesn't tell you. And you look at a couple different kinds of seeds and you're like, okay, I want to buy this one and I want this one. The problem is there's different varieties. And you shouldn't grow certain varieties with next to each other. So that's one thing nice about like gurneys or uh, burpee seeds that it tells you what kind of seed they are, what family or whatever they want to call it. And um, so you can pick seeds of the same that can be grown next to each other. Because certain ones, if you grow them next to each other, they cross pollinate and you do not get that corn. Certain ones are fine, that, you know, and then you want to, of course, you plant them several weeks apart. So that way when one's tasseling and putting off its little 
spores and going on your little tassels to create your corn kernel you don't want them to cross pollinate because then you don't get the actual one you're trying to get so so anyway this has got 250 seeds in it and if you buy the little packet in the store you're getting 40 seeds in it or so so yes it's definitely worth it to buy this bigger container and here we got some simply irresistible sweet corn this one's got 200 seeds but it is a new species of corn that Gurney's got and it is called the simply irresistible it's only been out for a couple years it's a hybrid but all the reviews say it's a really good corn and everything and it goes good with this northern so I can grow them next to each other. Of course, this northern is only 67 days to maturity. And this simply irresistible 78. So I could actually plant them at the same time. And you're still going to get a week and a half between the two. And, but it's okay to plant these two near each other because they are the same they are the same family, so they can be grown beside each other. And then this big old bag full, like, tons of seeds in there. That is a garden pea, 225 seeds. The maestro. These are the pea pods you shuck and take the pea out. I usually raised snow peas and stuff but the family's been asking me for regular peas that you actually shuck and don't eat the pod so we're gonna do some of those this year I got some bunching onions you know green onions everybody knows what those are the little bunch you can buy in the store a little bundle for a dollar has like eight to ten of them in there there's 250 seeds in here so you can actually grow and what you do is you plant them one or two bundles or bunches at a time and you can plant them really close because they only get tiny and they're not like getting a big onion bulb on them so you can plant little patches like two weeks apart so that way you're not harvesting them all at once because green onions how are you gonna store them I mean if you want fresh green onions you gotta plant them little bunches a couple weeks apart and then they'll last a couple weeks in your fridge until the next ones are ready to harvest and then romaine cimarron 200 seeds lettuce that's a lot of lettuce heads and then one of my favorites ruby queen beets yummy gotta love your beets mm -mm -mm delicious and this is one thing I've never grown before leeks and they were one of the ingredients in one of that um, video I already posted a while back about that onion soup oh my gosh that stuff was so good and you gotta use leeks in it and then I got some of their tomatoes these are also a hybrid and they are a determinate a determinant is a tomato plant that produces all of its flowers and tomatoes all at the same time. The kind that the, like Heinz ketchup and, you know, all those ketchup companies and stuff that grow all their tomatoes. Because when they harvest them, they're cutting the plant out of the ground. And they need all those tomatoes to be ripe. Or mostly ripe and all at the same time. Unlike your indeterminate, which means they produce over a period of time. Determinate means they have a determined time when they um, produce all their tomatoes. And then once those tomatoes are harvested, if you go out and pick them, the plant's done. You might as well pull it out of the ground because it's not going to produce anymore. Indeterminate will. 
But anyway, this has 15 seeds, not a lot of seeds, but you don't really want to plant too many determinate. I mean, unless you got, because when they come ready, you're going to have that couple week period and you got to get your tomato sauces and whatever else you're going to make and spaghetti sauce and you have to get it done because you're not going to be able to collect them over a certain amount of time. You got to get it that time or when they're ready, they're ready. And then the plants are done. So I'm also going to plant some indeterminate also, but this way they actually produce a lot, but all at once. So the plant is just covered with them. And these um, they're called easy sauce hybrids and they get like they get up to eight ounces or so and I mean that's a pretty good size to miter and they're designed for canning or sauce just like it says on the name easy sauce hybrid so you want a lot of tomatoes at once try some of these like I said, this is the first year I've ever tried these, and I'm going to plant some of these indoors, of course, so I can, when I get them outside, they'll have some size to them. With my new growing light I got, hopefully, I got radishes and lettuce underneath of it right now, so hopefully that will turn out. I'll have to see. I just got them in tubs. So we'll see how well the radishes are growing really good. The lettuce, yeah, I don't know. It's Lettuce, of course, grows a lot slower. But I'm hoping that turns out. I mean, they're not growing like crazy like they're trying to reach for light. So they're getting enough light from the, the light source. And I got that light at Home Depot. It's a theater. Fiat or F I E T grow light. The full spectrum. This one has where you can have the white light, the red light, and the blue light. And each one has its own switch so you can adjust your lights if you just want it growing and you know the seedlings and stuff. And you go getting it through the leaf stage, you just use the white and blue. But if you got like tomatoes or something like that and you want them to flower or a uh, um, or some kind of flower bush or whatever or plant then that's what the red lights do it brings off the, the that light source actually helps it produce more flowers so anyway I've just got the white and blue light on my radishes and stuff but full spectrum would be all three you can run all three if you want they say but the white and the blue is just mainly for growing anyway here is my seeds lots and lots of them can't wait I got two kinds of bunching onions my other one isn't on its way yet this is the um, evergreen whites and the other ones I've ordered they're a red bunching onion the onion part itself of course the top is still green but the bulb is red. And I really cannot wait to get my garden going this spring. And it's only the beginning of winter. But one thing nice about Gurney's, you can order your seeds now. And they ain't coming out in the stores and for another several months. And these are all packed for 2022. They're the same ones if you go to a store that's going to sell seeds that are packed for 2022. Same exact one. So, because I always pack them in the year ahead for the following year. So, if you order them now from Gurney's, and this is, um, what is today, the 3rd of um, December, and I ordered them like a week and a half ago. So, and then you're not fighting the big rush when everybody orders in March and April and then all of a sudden Gurney's a swamp with orders and, and it takes some weeks to get the product out. I like to get my stuff ordered early and that's one thing about, or about getting it from the store. You don't know what you're going to be able to get. 
our store has a really good gardening section, so that's what I like. And I'm guaranteed I'm going to be buying packets of seeds there because I'm always going to find something that I didn't order this time that I want to grow. I don't want to overburden myself, though, because when you end up planting, I want all this, I want all that, I want all this. Then you end up planting so much stuff, you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with it all? Because my garden's not that big. And I'm going to be planting corn in little plots. So I'll have corn over several, or over a month or so. Not all at one time. So like I said, i got 250 seeds. So I can do little 50 plant plots. And it says, like on these packets, you know, you have them a foot of water, or two feet between rows and a foot between, you know, the plant and the, plant, the row itself. That's, yeah, that's good, but if you're actually adding extra fertilizer or, you know, cow manure or something like that or chicken manure that's pretty high in nitrogen because corn is a grass and needs lots of nitrogen. So you use chicken manure and Walmart sells that composted chicken manure and I had chickens and I um, dissed up that whole area where they were at so that's going to be really hot and the corn will grow really well in that because corn is a grass and it needs lots of nitrogen and they grow big so you can put them a little bit closer I mean I'm probably going to plant mine about six to eight inches apart I'm not going to do that foot thing because I've always done the six inches apart and they always grow just fine. But it's all about, you know, how much nutrition you have in your soil and stuff too. Ours is pretty, you know, pretty good around here. And I like to mix a lot of um, composted manure and stuff in there. And, you know, some, just whatever I got. If I got, you know, a couple bags of peat moss and whatever else, it all gets stilled in there. Because when it breaks down, it creates food for the plants that are growing and we got lots of night crawlers and night crawlers love it you till in your old um, peelings from your um, apples and stuff like that it just produces food those worms get in there eat all that because you put a pile of wor or, um, skins out there potato skins or peach skins or whatever after you've canned and then put a little dirt on them You'll dig them up in a week. It'll be packed full of big fat night crawlers. Because they're in there just gulfing that stuff down. And of course, what are they doing? They're sitting there adding their waste to the soil. And boom, more nitrogen for your plants. I've used a lot of chemical insecticides in the past, but this year I'm going to use a lot more of the neem oil and the pyrethrins, which is from the, how do you say that, Carman some kind of banthamum plant, I don't know, I can't ever say that, it's from the flower, it's not poisonous to your pets and stuff like that, it's not, I don't think, it's, the neem oil itself is, uh, can, kills bugs too, it's not as potent as other things, but that one I don't think you can have near your cats, make sure you read those in, um, labels really well before you use anything even if it's a natural product buy good quality seed like i said if you can't you know you don't want to order from gurney's i've always bought mine at walmart we got a local home depot and once in a while i get something there but usually it's from walmart because they always seem to do us good around here and they always have lots of products to help amend your soil and stuff and now a lot of the natural stuff like the um, pyrethrins and stuff you can get those at walmart too but there's a pretty good selection of stuff like that at home depot all right y'all i'm going to end this video and see y'all later bye